Small tools and supplies is defined as disposable items that you will leave at a job site. These are low cost items, think screws, nuts, hammers, whatever's gonna stay on your vehicle and either stay at the job site or you're gonna put back in the job site when you're done. So a broom, a garbage bag, just low cost items. Now it's difficult to track small tools and supplies, things that stay on your vehicle and shop supplies and tools, which are things that typically stay in your shop. So remember, consistent and predictable. It doesn't necessarily matter because the number is typically insignificant. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and spend 150 bucks on just random things, some stay in the office, some stay in the truck, it's really important to make sure that you understand that small tools and supplies are disposable items that stay on the truck. So do your best when you go make these purchases or you purchase an item from vendors to put them in the right category or tell your bookkeeper what category they should go in. But just know that relative to the overall expense, if you miss one, two, five, 10 items, it's not gonna be enough to make a marketable impact on the overall profit of your business. In terms of gross profit, if you miss it by one or 2%, it's still gonna be an expense. What we're trying to do with the small tools and supplies and chemicals and materials and shop supplies and tools is just to make sure that we're in the realm of responsible management of our cost of goods sold. We wanna make sure that we're uh, managing our cost of goods sold in a way that sets our operations team up for success and we're not using too much, too many resources, whether it's labor or chemicals or whatever on a job so that we can maximize profitability and our efficiency.